Oman is one of the best places in the world for snorkeling adventure, and today, well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So for adventure today, we are with Blue Wave. We have Farid, he's going to be our captain, actually from Kenya. <laughs> and we have Murshid in the back as well. So Blue Wave does a bunch, everything sea related basically, they do it. Sunset, sunrise, even fishing, camping on islands, snorkeling. Today, that's what we're doing. So whatever that is sea related that you want to do, those are your guys. The boat is very, very nice too. Uh, there's lots of space on it. It's comfy. It's got a bathroom on board. Everything you need. Very important stuff. Sunshine. Okay guys, uh, we have arrived. This is uh, the Maniat Island and this place called uh, Turtle City or Turtle Island. Two things, first of all, the water is so blue, it is stunning. Second, as much as we did a lot of snorkeling in our lives, I've actually never seen a turtle while snorkeling, never. Neither. That's gonna be a first. If we're lucky, if we're lucky. So we just arrived at our first diving spot. We heard that there's a high possibility of turtles here. So it's time to go in. That was probably one of the best snorkeling spots I've ever seen. Just the fact that we saw so many turtles was so cool on top of all the fish and how blue the water is. Now we're gonna try another side, but can it get really much better than this? I don't know. Honestly, my mind is blown. The fact that we even were like, we had that all to ourselves, there's nobody else around, that was fantastic. Also, I don't wanna get my hopes up, but uh, I was told that the next spot, possible to see small sharks. Never know, never know. So where we were was actually just like two, three, four meters at certain places. This one is actually much deeper, about like what, eight to 10 meters. And there's more people, meaning it's more popular, meaning it's better? No, <laughs> no, the hidden gems are the better spot. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> no snorkeling for several hours. It's quite exhausting, but our friends at Blue Wave, they got us. Yeah. They, they got some sandwiches, maybe not fries. Damn. <laughs> That's a pretty good sandwich too. Okay, time for the second snorkeling site. Farid is gonna come with us because he knows where maybe there will be, what is it? The black, black tip shark. Black tip shark. Black tip shark. Yeah. We'll see if we get lucky. <laughs> So Farid and I actually swam through the channel, which is a little bit challenging, like going this way, much easier coming back. Uh, coming back. We went all the way to the other side of the island. Sadly, no shark, but I did see one more turtle, so I guess it was worth it. Farid was swimming just behind me, and he did see one, but I, I missed it. This is such a fun day, guys. The 
size of some of these boats here in this marina, guys. I'm telling you, like, insane. Bigger than my house. You guys even have the best parking spot in the entire marina. Yeah, we fight for it a lot. <laughs> so guys, a big thank you to both of you for having us. It was such an amazing trip. Oman, it's true. They have some of the best snorkeling spot in the world. I highly agree. And fun fact, uh, when it's in season, you can actually see whale sharks, right? Yeah, yeah. So yes. something else to keep in mind. If you want to book your own adventure with Blue Waves, their information are going to be down below. Highly suggest them, especially with those two. You guys uh, are the special best. Special shout out to Fareed who gave me his mask. For once, <laughs> I didn't have a painful snorkel experience. And they have great <laughs> snorkel <laughs> equipment yeah. as well. And a great boat too. Thank you yeah. so much guys. Fareed, Asante Sana. <laughs> <laughs> See yeah. you guys in the next one. Fun fact, our video is not done. No, but we're going to go back to the hotel real quick to first change. Maybe take a quick shower because it is hot guys. And to be honest, it's like 2 o'clock so I think we'll let it into yeah, Let the sun <laughs> lower a little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to come back exactly here because just here on the pier, they have a very unique and fun food experience that we want to experience. Agreed. And to do so, we are back to the fastest car in Oman. Back in the same parking lot, but with different outfits. Can you tell how uh, hot it is? It's starting to fog up. <laughs> if I had a lot of money, I think I would get a little uh, condo in the marina neighborhood because it is super nice. Tracy, would you want to live here? Yes. Also on top of that, if you're wanting to stay in this, I saw there is a Kempinski. There's a, a Musk, M-Y-S-K. Oh, yeah. But you're but, probably yeah. going to pay for it. Oh, yeah. It's probably very expensive. But, I remember seeing that. But it's very nice. Yes. Yeah. So we've actually never tried bubble tea. We're gonna try it. Because everyone knows that Oman is actually known for bubble tea. Mm. Mm. Those little uh, boba bubbles are like explosions of flavor. What did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't know how their chicken finger are like so round, but man. They're delicious. Mm. Definitely a cool spot. They have like five or six different like uh, food truck style restaurant. Definitely you will find something you like and they even have a trampoline. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just in case you don't feel like walking, you can actually like hire one of those like golf carts to take you around the neighborhood. But we walk, we're walkers. We're also too cheap to our, pay for that. Gotta get our steps in. Remember when I told you that this neighborhood is like fancy? Well, let me tell you, it's really posh. Like everywhere you look is just like marble and white walls and everything looks very expensive. Even those cookies. Tracy, just oh, choosing what you it. want later. Yeah, 100%. Because you gotta, you gotta eat supper first. <laughs> I guess we'll be back to monkey cookies later according to Tracy. Oh, yeah. the other way? Oh, other way. All these little like patios and restaurants like is this Europe Tracy are we in Europe no. the golf is the new Europe it's even better let's eat some pizza because New York style pizza in Oman sounds great as much as all those little patio outside looks very nice even this restaurant has one right now it is still over 30 degrees and very humid so ac winds so we got a chicken pesto pizza i can't remember what the other one is called a veggie something but it tasted like meat lovers and then veg on top looks very good this one is very good but i'm very curious to try that one i just said very way too many times a little tired it's okay that was really good pizza i was gonna say back in the outdoor heat but yeah, no, it was a very good supper. Like, really good. Yeah, not very Omani, not very local, but hey. Fair? I don't know if it's just that we're not finding the right places, but I don't see very many. That's true. Obviously, I it's, know, like, it's especially here. Off the path. Yeah. Um, but, but I'm glad we had last night. Yeah. But our guide last night was kind of telling us that within the, la the last five to yeah. seven years, Omanis have kind of like slowly switched 
their their diet towards like burger and pizza and yeah. pasta like that north american diet because we kind of laughed when he um offered off like burgers and pizza and we're like no nah. yeah. he's like no no he's like it's actually yeah yeah anyway i got a kinder a hershey and a double chocolate <laughs> Monkey cookies are good cookies. Um, he also was nice and threw in an extra one. <laughs> so I would say the classic chocolate chip and the Kinder ones were my favorite. Noted. So because the water is so beautiful here while in Oman, you have to go on some sort of boat trip. Yeah, I love the one that we did today because we got to see turtles. Yeah, that was super cool. We've never got to see turtles before, yeah. but in general, like it is absolutely stunning. Just stunning, like the coral reef and everything. Anyway, just get on the water. Um, I'm going to kind of plug them for a second because there is later on in certain seasons you can actually camp overnight on that island mm -hmm. um so that's something that we wanted to do but just yeah. wrong time coming yeah because the uh, turtle were hatching right now yeah so protect the turtles yeah which is fine anyways so then you do your boat tour mm -hmm. and then you come back and then you have supper lunch whatever you want around the marina really cool you can go it's, everything from fancy to yeah. to pizza and to food trucks and cookies yeah, it was. It's a very beautiful area to walk around here, especially at night. Even like their outdoor patio, they have like big fans and stuff, so you're not gonna yeah. die of heat. Most so, have indoor seating of AC. Yeah, so. overall, like a very, very beautiful slash kind of fancy um, yeah. area of Muscat. Big fan. So yeah. anyway, we have so much more planned in this trip, and it starts early tomorrow morning. So until then, see you guys in the next one.